Hey, welcome back to the Flytanium YouTube channel. As you may or may not know, we have a modify customizing finish option on most of the skills that we sell on our website. And when I'm not up here creating content for Instagram or YouTube, I'm actually down there doing those orders and finishing them for you guys. And so today I thought, why not bring you guys down and show you the process of getting a few toxic orders done. All right, as you can see, we are in the workshop now and we have a total of three toxic orders. Two ghost toxics and one mermaid toxic. First thing I do is actually just polish them, super easy. We have this pink compound that I use. You only, I've realized that you only actually need to do it one, one time with this compound and it's pretty, pretty freaking mirror polished. So let's get that done and then I'll meet you at the next step. So before we start, I thought I should preface, please, if you're gonna try this at home, use safety equipment. I don't wanna be responsible for you losing your eyeball. Thank you very much. Okay, back to it. Okay, so as you can see, all the scales are done, but they're really, really smudged. Like, I don't know if you can see smudged on that. Not great. So now, basically all I do is I, I just get a microfiber and I put some dish soap on it. and then I scrub the crap out of them. And that seems to get all of the compound off. See, as you can see, very shiny. Whoa, I'm shaking, I'm hungry. Very shiny. But time-lapse now of me doing it. All right, so yeah, now basically all you do is you anodize it and, oh, sorry, I'm getting a text. Oh. Yeah, so actually my DoorDash is here. So lunch break. Alright, so I'm back from lunch. It was amazing. Thank you for asking. But now we have all these scales and we need to anodize them different colors. All four of the paramilitary two scales we need to anodize blue. And these bug out scales I need to anodize gold. And then after that we heat them up and quench them in ferric chloride. But that'll be later. First thing, anodizing.
All right, now the anodizing is done and we just need to heat them up and quench them in ferric chloride now. So let's get to it. All right, so there's the finished product. I'm really happy with how they turned out. And just let us know in the comments what other videos you wanna see, and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as well. And we'll see you at the next video.